Okay, so we're back working on the cab some more today. Um, since I pulled it off the frame, I've gone in and kind of pulled the instrument cluster out, got all the wiring uh, and everything out, what little there is in these old trucks. Um, got all the uh, controls out, the ignition switch, um, the uh, glove compartment door, etc. The, uh, the vent uh, pipes for the defroster in the, in the dash. Just kind of trying to strip everything else that I could out of the dash. Um, but uh, what I'm going to be working on today is just, um, I'm going to basically weld a piece in the gas filler uh, opening here. Um, so I'm just going to play around with that a little bit today. I don't have a lot of time to work on the truck today, but I thought, um, well, I've got a little bit of time, i just work on this. So that's what we're going to be concentrating on. I'm just going to get a little piece of cardboard, going to come in behind here um, and Scribe a circle on the cardboard, cut out a little piece of 18 gauge, um, kind of shape it a little bit, clean the paint off around the edge and just weld it up. Um, normally if I was going to be finishing this cab, uh, I would probably cut uh, this uh, recessed area completely out of the cab, um, shape this piece to kind of conform to the contour of this, weld it in nice, grind it down so it would be filled and painted. But as you can see, what the rest of this cab looks like, it's not really um, what I'm looking for or going for, so I'm just going to weld a piece in here nice and simple, just close this off and be done with it. Okay, we're, we're going to be using the Nathan's Garage uh, Universal Workbench here for this. So I've got my template cut out for that uh, piece of 18 gauge stock so I'm just going to get a little piece of this cut out. So just marking it. Out. So I think what I'm going to do is, since it does have a little bit of a contour, I'm just going to take it over to my workbench and use my dollies and body hammer, or uh, 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 body work hammer, and just kind of try to shape this a little bit just by beating on it, give it a little bit of a positive contour, uh, and then we'll trim it out after that. I think I changed my mind. I just took it over to the, to the workbench and I flattened it out a little bit. I'm going to subscribe the circle on it, and then I'm going to cut it out, um, and then I'm going to try to shape it a little bit first. All right, let's go cut it out. Okay, we're up in my wood shop here. One of my other passions uh, is wood woodworking, which I got into uh, several years ago, and. Um, after getting into woodworking, I kind of started getting into old woodworking machines. Uh, and so I have a real passion for um, the old uh, American made woodworking machines uh, by Delta primarily. Uh, but there's a lot of other really good quality stuff uh, out there Oliver, Boyce Crane, uh, some pretty amazing stuff. Uh, but most of my old machines are, um, are Delta. Uh, this in particular is a um, Delta. Uh, wood and metal cutting bandsaw. Uh, this one actually dates to um, uh, 1949 is when this machine was was made and um, I got this from my dad a few years ago uh, and it runs great. It's got a one horsepower 220 volt uh, motor on it and so I use it for um, you know cutting stuff like this. So this was uh, what I'm going to use is cut this little little piece out.
All right, so that just kind of roughs it out a little bit. I'm going to take it over to the pedestal grinder now and just kind of clean those edges up a little bit. Okay, so I've got one of my blocks uh, mounted in the vise, and this is kind of the, the rounded uh, side of the, one of the blocks. So I'm just going to take the body hammer and just kind of try to shape this a little bit. Trying to get a little bit of a concave shape to it. That's pretty good. I'm going to go check it for fitment now because it's probably grown a little bit. And so I may need to take it back up to the grinder and kind of uh, trim it down a little bit more. I'm just seeing how which way the contour fits the best here. I'm probably going to have to shape it a little bit more, but um, I'm just going to put a little witness mark at the top, just so I know the orientation it needs to be in as I continue to kind of shape it. Alright, I'm liking that contour pretty well. I think it needs to be contoured just a little bit from top to bottom a little more. So working right through here, probably take it back over to the poor man's power hammer and work on it a little bit more. Try to get it shaped from top to bottom a little more like the contour. Uh -oh. Alright, so after working this piece a little bit more, it's kind of grown. So I'm going to have to go and mark it and then go take it back to the grinder and trim it down a little bit. Okay, I've ground it down a little bit more. Let's see how it fits. I think it's going to be good. Maybe a little bit big gap, but hopefully they will weld up okay. We'll see. All right, let's try that again. All right, let's get her welded up, see how it goes. So I've got a magnet kind of on the back side there, just kind of supporting it a little bit. It's not meeting flush all the way around, but I'm just going to tack it and I can lift, elevate it out a little bit and get it, uh, get it where it needs to be, kind of all the way around so I can kind of run a bead uh, around it. All right. All right, let's give this a go.
Well, like I said, I'm not a very good welder, but managed to kind of get it tacked in place. And I'll kind of just work around it, kind of tap it and get it in, in position as I kind of go around. Let's see how it goes. All right, folks. Well, that was a complete and utter failure. Um, I was getting a lot of burn through or blow through at my um, edges there. I don't know if my piece was just, my gap was too big or my welding skills were not where they need to be. Uh, probably a combination of both. But I uh, cut it back out um, and I've kind of ground all the paint from this recess. I'm just going to cut a bigger piece now um, basically to come to the edge of this lip and I'm just going to drill holes all the way around it and I'm just going to spot weld it uh, to this underneath and then I'll kind of run a bead all the way around to kind of weld it to this to this edge here um, and hopefully that will that will close this off okay I got another piece made got holes drilled in it where I'm going to spot weld it around to this flange and then run a bead all the way around so we'll see how that goes Well, I think that went okay except for a burn through on that one right there. I don't know how that happened. So we'll see and get that fixed up. Okay, I got that all tacked in and I'm just going to run a bead kind of around the edge. Just going to seal it up. Alright, well I got it welded in, didn't look the greatest, I blew through the edge of the cab right here for some reason when I was spot welding it in. So I had to kind of fill that with some weld so that looks kind of like crap. But Anyway, I've got it all in and I'm just going to leave it pretty much like that. Alright YouTubers, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of the Gas Filler opening deletion um, didn't go as smoothly as I had hoped it would but again I think I learned a lot as far as some of my initial welding um, I got a lot to learn but uh, hopefully I'll get there but anyway it's closed and that's that so tune in for the next episode hopefully it'll be coming out soon um, thanks for watching if you like what you see subscribe down at the bottom or click like or whatever whatever you do um, welcome any comments uh, suggestions or tips or recommendations as far as anything you saw that I may have been doing wrong or if you like what you see uh, like what I did or something like that then you can uh, feel free to comment on that as well uh, constructive criticism is always welcome um, I can use all the support that I can get um, as we move and progress along through this. So again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next episode.